All right, Stockmaster fans, from the classics of French erotica comes Truck Stop, otherwise known as Traveling Companions. Let's check it out. This is a truck driver named Jeff. They're lost in the desert, and he hears voices. His partner, Eugene, was sleeping in the back of the truck. That's the director, Jean-Marie Pallardy. Jeff! What is it? Jeff! What is <laughs> the voices Jeffrey heard were from three women. These are the sirens, just like Homer's Odyssey. And they're kissing. When Eugene finds him... Hey, what's the matter? You all right? The women. Hey, it's me, Jean. Let's take it easy, huh? Hey, listen. Oh, aren't they good? Just look at them. They're uh, gone. Girls. They're right here. Just take it easy. All right. All right. All right. Very complicated. So here's another truck driver. And he ran into a transsexual in the bathroom. He's going to play a joke on his companion. It's his birthday, and he's going to buy him a prostitute with a penis. Happy birthday. Once the truth is revealed, she gets kicked out. Incidentally, it is a female actress playing that role. Eventually, he does get a nicer birthday present, which I can't really show you. Anyway, these two truckers go back to the truck stop, which does not look like any truck stop I've ever seen. It's also run by women. Pamela, the main one in charge, is actually married to Eugene, who is lost in the desert somewhere. That's her right in the middle on the right there. Gene's been gone a while, and they think he's not coming back, so that Pamela should pick out a new man. My manager, Gene. He will return. Why didn't you face it, Pamela? He won't return. Pamela, you must be cute at one of our rules. Meanwhile, Gene and Jeff were taken to some paradise run by a woman named Calypso. How do you feel now? That's Jaida Wilson. You might remember her from several other... German sex movies I've seen oh, and taped. Yeah. So Pamela has a test. She makes all the men drop their pants and tie a little bell on their wieners. You can't see their wieners, but there's bells, and you'll see the bells. And if you get aroused, you lose. The bell will ring. So one guy's bell rings. He got a boner watching the two lesbians make out. He's out. Calypso wants Jean to stay. You know that isn't true, so why say it? Why hurt yourself? It's you who are hurting me. I never hurt you. And what is it you want me to do? Stay here and make love to you like a like, like a machine while my heart is bursting for another? But Jeff wants to stay. The hell have you got there to say? I haven't got here. We got double. I tell you, it's paradise. The way to Ephesians give you the greatest massage. Hold on with me. Anyway, he's in love with Pamela and decides he's got to go back and he drags Jeff with him. Back at the truck stop, there's a lot of slapstick going on. Fights. On their way back, they stop to help some people, and uh, they get held up. What do you want? But Gene and Jeff are able to overpower the three of them, and they'll be on their way again. 
Pamela comes up with a new plan. So basically, each man has to sleep with the two women there, and if he satisfies the both of them, Pamela wins him. Then why shouldn't I? I am ready. Hoopla! I want you. Come to me. 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 Come to me.
she has these two lesbians making out on, on a table there, and all the men have to drop their pants and tie a little uh, ro a little, little string with a bell on it to their dicks. And um, the thing is, when uh, watching these lesbians, as soon as you get aroused, you're going to get a boner, and then your bell's going to ring, and you're out. Whoever can last the longest without getting a hard on wins, and perhaps wins Pamela. I think they all ended up getting boners, though, so that didn't work. Then there was another contest. These other two women who were, worked there um, say, hey, you know, we're going to have all the men try to satisfy us. And if they satisfy the two of us, the winner gets to be with Pamela. So they spend the rest of the movie, you know, trying to satisfy these two ladies. Lots of nudity here, that sort of thing. Eventually, um, uh, uh, Calypso is not able to convince Gene to stay. So he leaves. He takes Jeff with him. They get back on the road. They get held up at one point, but manage to overpower the thieves. And um, eventually they do get back home. And there's a hero's welcome for Gene as he goes there. And then he, Pamela's waiting for him. Then he grabs Pamela and they walk off into the sunset. That's how our movie ends. So anyway, that is that is Traveling Companions, otherwise known as Truck Stop, otherwise known as that French title you saw at the beginning. I don't know what to make of this film. Again, I know nothing about Homer's Odyssey, but I bet it wasn't full of uh, nudity like this one was. It's a French film uh, dubbed here. And again, I don't know what to make of this movie. It was just strange. It was just, a, you know, the first half of the film, you know, it was a little weird, but it was a followable plot. The second half with all this stuff back at the truck stop and taking turns, it was that was more of like slapstick comedy stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't quite get this film. But again, we don't watch this stuff for deep plot points. We watch it for the tits and ass. And this one has plenty of that to offer. So there you go. Um, truck stop. Uh, this is available on DVD, as you can see right here. It's extremely hard to find. Um, last time I looked, there was none on Amazon and none on eBay, although I think it does pop up on eBay occasionally. So you'll find it there. It's I don't think it's all that expensive once you find it. It's just trying to find it is kind of a bitch. So, but anyway, that is Truck Stop. I'm glad I have it. So there, check it out. Let me know what you think about Truck Stop, aka Traveling Companions. I'll leave a link to something down below if you want to buy it. And click that link and buy it. Let me know what you think about it. Watch it. Bye.